Sad news for those Cunard fans who are booked on cruises in 2021 and in early 2022. But it's not all bad news. I'm Chris Frame and I write maritime history books, lecture aboard cruise ships and make YouTube videos about ocean liners and cruise ships. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe. Firstly, the most important news to take away from today's announcement is that Queen Elizabeth's Australian season has been cancelled and Cunard's 2022 World Cruises have been cancelled, which is of course big news for anybody who was planning to sail on those voyages. From an Australian perspective, Queen Elizabeth's cancelled voyages is a huge disappointment to those of us who are looking forward to returning to cruising on Cunard in Australian waters, but given the Australian border remains closed and that there's no news as to when that border will reopen to allow internationally flagged cruise ships back into Australian waters, it's not unexpected that cruise lines are rescheduling their Australian itineraries even well into 2022. To replace the Australian voyages, Queen Elizabeth will be sailing in UK waters where she will remain until February of 2022 and then she'll undertake the long voyage to Japan in order to undertake her Japanese season starting in April. This will then see her normal itinerary resume if everything else goes according to plan. Queen Mary 2 will resume voyages with transatlantic crossings in November of this year and she'll have departures sailing from Hamburg, Southampton and New York. Queen Mary 2's 2022 world cruise has been cancelled so rather than that she'll be undertaking more transatlantic crossings as well as a season in the Caribbean. Queen Victoria is perhaps the most impacted by these changes with her 2022 world cruise cancelled and the ship not expected to return to service until April of 2022, where she'll be remaining laid up off the UK coast. This means that many people who were planned to sail on board Queen Victoria's voyages will have their cruises cancelled. However, those of you who are on selected voyages will have these transferred across to Queen Elizabeth. That includes five Queen Victoria sailings under the voyage numbers of V126, 128, 129, 130 and 201. Cunard's Simon Palethorpe has noted that the Queen Elizabeth will resume her first cruise on the 19th of July and that it is a momentous day for Cunard after such a long pause. However, he has noted that the company is sad that they've had to cancel voyages on Queen Mary 2, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, making a particular note of the disappointment of having to cancel the Australian season on Queen Elizabeth. I've linked to the full media release on the Cunard website in the description box below. So what do you think of the changes? Have you been impacted by them? And will you be looking to book on the new voyages that are being offered on Queen Mary 2 and Queen Elizabeth, as well as Queen Victoria's resumption of service next year? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks once again for watching. And until next time, I hope to see you on board.